Lent retention is simply maintaining your existing hair length by taking proper care of the hair and keeping breakage to a minimum. In this video, I'll be showing you 7 easy ways on how to retain length. So if that's what you're interested in, definitely keep on watching this video and give this girl a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's dive right into this video. <music> So guys, the first thing on the list is moisturize and seal your ends. The oldest part of your hair is the end. This part tends to be the most fragile. That is why it is necessary to hydrate it properly to prevent breakage and split ends. So first moisturize with water and seal your ends regularly. So you can use water or any liquid based products that are best for moisturizing. Apply that to the ends and also work your way up. So next you want to seal the moisture with something. It can be oil, it can be butter, it can also be any cream of your choice as long as it's a seal so I like making use of my oils or my do grow hair treatment so just apply that onto the area where you spritz your water or your leave-in make sure you use your hands to massage it in and then you're good to go next thing on the list is to always detangle your hair and be gentle with it so detangling is very very necessary you want to make sure you detangle your dry or your matted hair before going into style or wash your hair do not rush through detangling De always detangle in sections this, this will make it much easier so and also make sure you you detangle while your hair is wet you can spritz water onto your hair as for me i like going in with um, a conditioner which makes it very very easy for me to detangle then i make use of my hands like so to you know separate it especially if my hair is very very tangled and is matted so i like going in with my fingers first to separate it and after that i make use of my fingers to finger detangle as you can see what i am doing right here so after doing all that i then go in with my um tangle teaser then i make sure to start off from the ends of my hair and gently work my way up to the roots of my hair so when it comes to detangling you want to make sure you use the proper tools to detangle so it can be a wild tooth comb it can be a detangle brush or it can also be your fingers so guys another way you can help retain length is by getting rid of those split ends so you need to stop holding on to split ends for the sake of longer length split ends will continue to split up the hair shaft cause tangles and which will also lead to more breakage so make sure to trim off unwanted split ends every two to three times in a year also make sure to do this when it is needed when your hair needs it okay don't just go in and just trim off your hair just because you want to trim off your hair make sure your ends really need them guys trimming off unwanted split ends actually saves your hair from breakage it makes it much much easier to style and also it makes it very easy to comb out so make sure you just get rid of all those unwanted split ends and trust me this will help retain more length so guys another tip i have for you is to always make sure you wash your hair in sections this should be a must preferably wash in twist washing your hair in sections help prevent knots and tangles when washing when washing my hair i detangle in section and while detangling i twist and i also make use of hair clips or hair ties to section my hair i also scrub gently and also secure the section back into place before moving on to the next so this process may take up a little bit of time but it is guaranteed to lessen breakage and tangles while shampooing 
so guys the fifth thing on the list is always choose low maintenance hairstyles too much manipulation excessive combing of natural hair can lead to less length retention so low maintenance hairstyles are those that don't involve daily styling do more of hairstyles that keeps your fragile ends tucked away such as cornrows twist and also avoid hairstyles that are high tensions hairstyles that actually give you headaches or soreness during styling or after styling as this could lead to hair loss and hair breakage so guys moving on to the 16 on the list is to protect your hair while sleeping cotton is a highly absorbent material that could dry out the moisture on your hair this can also cause individual strands to tangle and break that is why it's best to use certain scarves or bonnets or certain pillowcases to sleep as they provide a smooth barrier. This will also help prevent friction which will help prevent hair damage. So guys, the last thing on the list is protein and moisture balance. It is important to have a good protein and moisture balance in your hair regime. Too much of either can cause hair breakage. Try alternating weekly or every two weeks between moisturizing and protein conditioners. So guys, this is where I'll be drawing the curtains for today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already and don't forget to leave your comments on the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye